<laughs> Made all the difference. 742. Now, we've uh, talked a lot over the last few months about marking the centenary of the First World War. But did you know that the financial cost of that conflict is still being paid off? The government has £2 billion of debt outstanding. Yes, but now it wants to address this and has decided to pay back over £200 million through the redemption of war bonds. The debt hasn't been dealt with before because of the relatively low interest rate. But the government says now the time is right. Well, here to tell us what all of this means is personal finance advisor Yvonne Goodwin. Yvonne, good morning. Good morning. First of all, let's talk about what these war bonds actually are. They've obviously existed for 100 years now, but, but what are yes. they and what were they for? OK, well... The government wanted people, um, if they couldn't go and fight in the war, they said, well, give us your money and we'll give you a return for that money. In other words, we'll borrow some money from you and we'll give you 5% in return. These war loans were then consolidated, um, I think it was 1927, and they altered them to paying 4% interest and they've been pretty much the same ever since. So there are families today within the attic or in the in the mm. cupboard have still got these war bonds yes. from 100 years ago. Yeah, and I've come across some as well. Most people have inherited them. So there's an emotional attachment to these. And you shouldn't really get emotionally attached to financial things. But, you know, they've been paying 4% interest. And in the last five years or so, since the financial crisis, when you can't get decent interest rates anywhere for secure money, then it's been a very attractive thing to hold. It's, a, it's owning a piece of history in a way as well, mm. isn't it? So mm. it's, it means more than maybe your average investment would. Yes, but the government who issued these, they reserve the right to redeem it at any time by giving 90 days notice, and that's what they've done. So how does that work? What, what mm. You get a letter through the, through the door saying, we want your bonds back, or what? Well, yes, I doubt if they'll actually want the paper back, but they will then send a cheque through in 90 days' time. I think the timing's really significant because 90 days takes you to the 1st of February, and in February, the government are going to issue, through national savings, some pensioner bonds. Now, given that many of the holders of this war stock will be pensioners, they will be able to go into the pensioner bonds, but the interest rate won't be anywhere near 4%. Mm. It'll be two point something, I would guess, and it will be for a fixed period of time, unlike these war bonds, which were perpetual. Why, why has it taken the government so long? You know, mm. they've been paying these much higher interest rates, so why yes. has it taken the government so long to say, we'd like them back and we'd like to pay you a little bit less? Who knows is the answer <laughs> to that one. Although um, I think until the last few years where you could get decent interest rates, there probably wasn't so much interest in them. But because they're a relatively risk-free asset and because the government can now borrow money in the gilt market from people all around the world who still regard the UK as a more secure sovereign debt than anywhere else, mm. uh, bar the USA maybe, but um, because they can do that, it's, it's like you having a loan where you're paying a certain interest rate. If you can refinance that loan for a lower rate, you do it. And that's what they're doing now. That's what the government's doing. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? I had no idea that 100 years on those, no. those yes. bonds still Soon existed. You. Yvonne, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, it's quarter to eight. Here's Sarah with a look.